Kính thưa quý vị đại biểu, quý thầy cô, quý vị phụ huynh và các bạn học sinh thân mến. Chúng em rất hân hạnh được đại diện các học sinh quốc tế được phát biểu trong buổi lễ ngày hôm nay. Oh well, English please, Eve. <cười> We know that you are all wondering what the hell is going on. That was exactly how we felt when we were in class for the first time. For me, my first class was the chemistry class. After the first class, I dropped chemistry. <laughs> For me, it was the physics class which made my life so hard that I'm still so scared to remember it now. Good morning, Mr. Johnston, teachers, staff, parents and fellow students. Today, we are pleased to give you an insight into our experience as international students at the Peninsula School. Being an international student has a lot of difficulties, yet a lot of benefits. The very first difficulty that we all have to face is the language barrier. Our first conversations with the local students were mostly comprised of ums, ahs, yes, no, and a lot of smiles. <laughs> We actually wanted to express ourselves, but we just couldn't find the right words. We thought that our school life would be so miserable. However, looking at where we are now, standing at the valedictory assembly, speaking to you all and sharing these amazing experiences we have had for the past two years show how far we have come and our school life is not miserable at all. We will always remember our year 11 methods class in which Eve, Kai and I often asked Mrs. Guest if we could seat the sex early so that we could seize the opportunity to discuss and work cooperatively while she was busy teaching the rest of the class. <laughs> we'll always remember our ESL class when we went on YouTube to find the videos to mimic the sound of the school bell to get out of class 10 minutes early. <laughs> Unfortunately, the school has blocked YouTube, so there's no longer any chance for you guys to emulate this tactic. We will always remember Leo's professional cover while he was sleeping, but looking exactly like being lost in a book. We will always remember Yazi's cheerful, happy voice in class singing Justin Bieber's Baby. And how quickly Charlie fled out of Mr. McMiniman's methods classes as soon as the bell went. And how Mason struggled to toss a coin <laughs> for our up probability experiment. By the time we started year 12, we had realized the potential of speaking our language. No one understood us, and this is especially useful when you want to gossip about someone. <laughs> The Peninsula School has given us something even more precious than academic knowledge. We have learned the importance of hard work, determination, integrity, flexibility, and being optimistic about our future. More importantly, we are taught the significance of communication, respect, and tolerance. The school has not only paved the way for us into the future with knowledge, but also strengthened us with skills and characteristics to help us face with the obstacles that life will inevitably throw at us. We fully acknowledge how blessed we are to have such a great opportunity to be a member of the Peninsula family. To achieve what we have achieved, to get where we are standing now, we are thankful for many people. Firstly, to all of the teachers who have devoted their time and their hard work to our educa education, we want to say a big thank you. They say that a good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. We are very thankful that our paths have been enlightened by the candles of your passions and dedication. Secondly, we would like to express our gratitude to all the staff members at the school who have worked hard to ensure that we have the best studying environment. To our fellow Year 12 students, it's been only a short time, but we have built some beautiful friendships. We have done so many things together and shared so much. We will miss you next year as our lives take different paths. As we are about to sit the VC exam, we wish you all the best. We have been working hard, and all the hard work will pay off in the end. In case it doesn't pay off, don't worry. 
when one door closes, somewhere else, another door will open. Do you know how many times Thomas Edison screwed up before him making a light bulb? <laughs> Do you know how many dozens of mixtapes Soulja Boy has to release <laughs> before it becomes a hit song? Even our year 12 class had to attend hundreds of school detention before learning how to effectively circumvent the attendance policy. All our heroes, Albert Einstein, Martin Luther King Jr., Bill Gates, Barney the Dinosaur, grew up no differently than we did. They all wore diapers, put their pants on the same way, confused left and right, and ate cereals every morning. And like us, these figures all have a sense of curiosity that they use to their full advantage. Curiosity is one of the most important traits that lead us to success and greatness. So chase the themes of yours with unrelenting fervor. Someone has said that life moves pretty fast and if you don't stop to look around one in so once in a while, you could miss it. Remember that success is a continuous journey, not a destination. And while we should aspire to the future, we should never neglect the present. So laugh every day. Read a good book. Enjoy a peanut butter with Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> and spy on your next door neighbor. Because <laughs> if you don't know how to chill out, you will burn out. <laughs> Lastly, we would like to thank especially all of you, this section here. We are the brave, the bold, the beautiful, and we, and are, we are the, the best, best class of 2011. 2011.